some fungicide on meat and some green some manganese just to kind of green it up a little bit more. Um, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm put some fungicide on and some manganese on or wheat. Um, or I'm doing everything that's headed out so far. I got some that's not headed out that was planted late. And my brother, he's been unloading beans. They've been doing a couple more bean deliveries today. So I'll show you that in a little while. But right now I'm gonna try and knock some weed out. Get some of it sprayed.
show some life. I don't know if you can see them. She's poking through there, though. And I'm very happy with my row shutoffs. I got them set. I mean, almost perfect. Uh, they stop right at right at the rail pretty much i wanted them a little short but when i was adjusting it i went 0 0.05 coming back in and uh or coming out and uh, the turn on is what i had at 05 and i was a little shorter than i wanted i wanted to get a couple more kernels in there so i readjusted it to 0 0.7 and it brought it right up to the first plant line first in row so i'll take that so just just as long as i wouldn't overlap it i don't want to waste seed but i got it right there to the row and that's really increased our yield on our in rows where I, you're not planting in so much so it made a big difference the first year we had it well we saved nine thousand dollars in corn seed the first year that we had swath control on our planter um it works i love it you can extend your seed so much further per unit and your yield increases i mean it it was a game changer it was it was for us you know every operation is different but for us i thought it worked well so just ride this morning sunday i gotta cut all the farm grass and my grass and just grass everywhere to cut so but i figured this morning i'd ride and check some cornfields out and it's coming up beautiful so far it's just they're calling for rain tomorrow so a little bit of rain ain't gonna hurt right now it's starting to warm up so that's good so see you later all right good morning i'm just riding around checking some corn out and I'll show you i got some 75 day coming up i just checked my 85 day it's coming up uh even though I got almost two inches of rain on it the same day I planted it, but it's poking through now. So here's the 75 day starting to creep through. So it's Monday. I got beans coming today. I got all my seed consultant beans that we're going to try on the seed consultant corn. Um, after we harvest it, I got them situated. And then I'm going to put all the plenished pioneer beans here. We're gonna do four two and four sixes behind the wheat and the corn. Uh, pretty much 50% of the corn's up. Got a planter early, planter like it did good. So all the other corn I got done, I'm done with corn. So I'm hoping that it all comes up perfect like the other corn that I planted. So I'm pretty sure it will. So goal is to get this thing right here emptied out, cleaned up um put her away the planter we're going to actually hook up to the drill and he wants to drill all this he wants us to drill the beans this year so we're gonna we got a new drill so we might as well try it it did good with wheat so we always had good stands with the great plains drill even though that thing was a nightmare to work on it it always did good um so we're going to go ahead and drill all the beans this year behind the wheat and the corn and everything so he's coming up the driveway now with the pioneer beans so i'm gonna get him unloaded he's got a i got a box of corn that's going to go back that i didn't need we finished up with some bags um send that back and of all the empty boxes we're going to send them back with him and go ahead and get these beans unloaded here he comes up the driveway now all the pro boxes my brother he washed the ripper off we're gonna put her away um, wash his tractor he's over there now washing the spinner fertilizer spinner we're gonna put her away and hook her up to the mower we weren't gonna use the loader today but we saw one of the cats the farm cats move her kittens up here let me see if they're still here or not oh no she must have moved them she did have them up there we had some straw we had to clean that out she must have thought better and moved them back here in the barn. They were underneath all the seed boxes. We've seen them running around this morning. Kittens everywhere. 
We had to get somebody to capture these tomcats up here. But here's all the beans that's been delivered so far. We got another load coming. I'll show you what they are. Yeah, we got some plenish four twos and four sixes. So these are the four sixes. We're gonna bring a whole nother load of them. And they're all the four twos. So I think he's bringing six more boxes. So we'll have all this full. So we'll have a lot of soybeans here once he brings six more boxes. My brother's up there working on his tractor. He's got to put a new door rubber on. It was coming off, so he got one. So he's putting that on today. And I'm just spraying. Well, they finally brought the rest of the beans, so we are in good shape for soybeans. You got your four twos. I think they go to there. Now they go. Let's see, what are they? Four twos, four sixes over there. There's a toad over there too, so. Brand week for today. Um, it's supposed to rain like tonight or tomorrow and a lot of our wheat is just starting to get heads on it and some of it doesn't even have heads yet. So we're gonna wait. It's gotta have 50% of the head in order to put this fungicide and everything on it. So. I knocked out a couple couple acres and uh i'll wait till after the rain let some more heads get on it's they're coming but i just want them to come a little bit more and then uh i'll knock it all out at one time then be done then i'll switch her over and start spraying the corn ground but that's probably it for today just getting off the sprayer like subscribe share i tried to get some more footage of with the gopro so I don't know if you like it or not, but I'm trying. I'm stopping a lot and repositioning it. So just bear with me. I'm learning. What are you doing? Explain to your audience what you're doing, Alex. Oh, sealing my window. This is his nice tractor. We got him this special order just for him. <laughs> He does a great job with it. Are you going to say hi to your girlfriend? Hey, Sheila. Let's go look at the corn over here. Wes told me it was crooked rows. I'm gonna have to show you all some straight rows. There's what I showed Wes. That was an intro around the flatbeds. And there's the, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's coming up pretty. Let's go look at some straight rows. Here you go, Wes. This is where the straight rows start. Look how straight that is. Now that one right there is the in row. Where's the, where am I at? This right here is the in row that goes around. Here's the straight rows. There you go. Look how straight they are. Perfectly straight. Some pretty corn. As you can see, there's the last in row, and all the rows stop right at it. 
all the way down. They should shut off right at it. So I don't waste any corn. And the yield is going to be way better on these rows than planting inside of them.